New pictures caught by the James Webb Space Telescope have paralyzed analysts. As opposed to growing our impression of the universe, these pictures uncovered an upsetting reality. Our continuous understanding is deficient in getting a handle on the potential outcomes of the universe in its beginning phases, where the speculation of the Big Bang appears to reach its limits. This drives us to mull over new hypotheses about its origins. The inquiry arises in regards to how the universe was formed completely and why this new discovery challenges even the most experienced specialists to find out more about the Big Bang and the complex subtleties of the discovery. Let's look at the idea of the Big Bang itself. In disfavor of standard reasoning, the Big Bang was not a blast in previous space. Rather, it was space itself that began around 13.8 billion years ago, alongside matter and time. From a peculiarity in physics and cosmology, a peculiarity describes points where gravity is so intense that the shape of space-time becomes infinite. Today, following billions of years since the start of the universe, we see that our tremendous home is part of a grand cycle. For specialists, this addresses an essential part of the universe since its very existence. It's obviously a continuous expansion. However, it's pivotal to figure out that the universe isn't floating into previous space. Maybe space itself is ceaselessly extending in size. According to current speculations, the first stars began to shine somewhere in the range of 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang, marking the end of the so-called Dark Ages. This was when the first luminous celestial objects coalesced to form mature galaxies. However, how rapidly these galaxies formed remains a confounding mystery. An abundance of information arose through the first pictures acquired by the James Webb Space Telescope in July 2022. Specialists revealed that the telescope had detected different galaxies, some of which had already existed around 300 million years after the formation of the universe. However, instead of finding boundless structures formed much later, these early galaxies were significantly smaller and less massive. This aligns perfectly with the scientific model accepted by specialists. The density of matter in the early universe was just not sufficient to lead to galaxies the size of those observed today. What began as the detection of six glowing redshifted spots from the James Webb Telescope ended up triggering one of the most significant galactic crises in recent times. Although these newly found galaxies are roughly as old as recently recorded galaxies, they are all as large as our own Milky Way. This has created a fascinating mystery in cosmic investigation. After analyzing a series of images captured by the near-infrared camera, specialists identified the aforementioned light sources using redshift to verify that the light from these objects took more than 1 billion years to reach our eyes on Earth. Thus, we are dealing with structures that had already existed around 570 million years after the presumed Big Bang. By analyzing the properties of these structures, it was concluded that the Webb telescope had captured six early galaxies in the images. Amazingly, these galaxies were so massive that they challenged conventional assumptions in cosmology. Rather than finding the expected smaller galaxies, structures were identified that were almost as large as our own Milky Way, despite having formed early in the universe's history. If we continue to analyze the data gathered by the James Webb telescope, this gravitationally bound cluster of stars was already more than 10 billion times the mass of the Sun at that time, with one possibly surpassing the 10 billion solar mass mark. However, whether this scenario is accepted, the mystery remains unresolved. Indeed, even in this case, there would be significantly more luminous mass in the early universe than previously anticipated, posing a problem. The identified objects go against almost all conventional cosmological hypotheses. Whether or not only one of these galaxies turns out to be real, it would challenge our earlier assumptions. Moreover, the density of matter in the early universe would have had to be several times greater than previously expected to account for this anomaly. Another similarly unusual explanation revolves around how these galaxies formed in a way that remains completely mysterious to us. These discoveries and the discussions surrounding the Big Bang have led many specialists to drift away from this theory. Various astrophysicists with alternative views feel their perspectives are not being heard in scientific journals. Even those who express doubts about existing theories are often labeled as baseless dissenters. Yet, 
Clearly, even scientists who still advocate for the theory of the universe's origin are persistently confronted with questions without conclusive answers. These questions include specific issues like why and how, 13.8 billion years ago, something literally arose from nothing. Could something truly start from nothing? Or was there some triggering event? Or was it all just a coincidence? Steven Weinberg pointed out that the concept of time, as we understand it, began exclusively with the Big Bang. Therefore, this process could not have been triggered by something outside of it. A similar troubling question relates to the consistency of radiation and density throughout the universe. Regardless of which direction or at what distance we look on a larger cosmic scale, we find similar densities and distributions of galaxies, nebulae, and radiation everywhere. Conventional astronomers explain this anomaly through the theory of cosmic expansion. However, other specialists take this assumption further with a theory of violent expansion. According to this idea, expansion has only stopped in specific regions, like bubbles, and continues endlessly elsewhere. This suggests that multiple universes could be forming in these bubbles, each with its own unique physical laws. Within this model, a huge question arises. What if the universe doesn't represent the whole? More intriguingly, what if another universe existed before our own? In this case, the Big Bang would become part of a larger cycle. According to this point of view, our universe is part of a greater multiverse structure. Within this framework, the possibility of an eternal cycle of destruction and recovery of the universe is advanced. However, this is not the only perspective introduced in the domain of cosmology. Aside from the theory of the universe's origin in 1955, for example, an article appeared in NASA Space Times, arguing that there might have never been a Big Bang since the universe has existed for an infinite time. In this view, the expansion of the universe would be non-existent, and the steady arrangement of matter could give the appearance of constant growth. Additionally, another captivating hypothesis emerges from the realm of quantum physics and string theory. Some experiments have suggested that our universe and everything in it might essentially be a flat, 3D image projected onto a surface. Thus, it is plausible that our reality is a result of a higher dimensional simulation. While this might seem like the plot of an intricate sci-fi movie, it might indeed be connected to the Kardashev scale, which measures the level of advancement of a civilization based on its ability to harness energy. If there were a Type 3 civilization capable of fully harnessing the energy of an entire universe, it might have created a perfect simulation, making reality itself a complicated matter. Exploring the depths of cosmology and the origins of our universe leads us into a domain of profound mystery and ongoing scientific inquiry. The new pictures caught by the James Webb Space Telescope have reignited discussions about the very fabric of our world, testing established theories, and prompting researchers to reconsider basic elements of cosmological understanding. At the heart of this inquiry lies the theory of how things came to be, an underpinning of modern cosmology. According to this theory, around 13.8 billion years ago, the universe rose from an extraordinarily dense and hot state, expanding rapidly and resulting in space-time and matter as we understand it today. This vast event isn't just a blast within prior space. Rather, it might include the very beginning of space itself. The idea of a singularity, where gravitational forces are so intense that space-time becomes infinite, supports how we might understand this early-stage epoch. However, the discovery of early galaxies by the James Webb Telescope challenges our assumptions about how quickly structures formed in the universe's infancy. These galaxies, identified within a few hundred million years of the Big Bang, appear surprisingly advanced and massive, defying assumptions based on current cosmological models. One of the major questions raised by these findings is the concept of rapid expansion. According to the prevailing theory, expansion occurred within fractions of a second after the Big Bang, causing the universe to grow dramatically. This rapid expansion would explain the consistency of the cosmic microwave background radiation observed across the universe today. However, the new discoveries suggest complexities in the early universe's development that may require adjustments to inflationary models. The development of galaxies, like those observed by the Webb telescope, 
prompts cosmologists to reconsider the timing and processes governing the universe's early evolution. These galaxies, now significant in size and mass, imply a density of matter that exceeds previous estimates. The mystery deepens when considering how such massive structures could form and evolve in such a relatively short period of time. Moreover, the discovery of these early galaxies raises intriguing questions about the nature of dark matter and dark energy, two elusive components that make up the majority of the universe's mass and energy content. While dark matter is believed to provide the gravitational scaffolding necessary for galaxy formation, the distribution and properties of dark matter in the early universe remain uncertain. In light of these astrophysical mysteries, theoretical physicists are exploring alternative cosmological models that challenge the traditional Big Bang view. Some hypotheses suggest that our universe is just one among many in a vast multiverse, each with its own unique physical laws and constants. These ideas, emerging from advancements in string theory and quantum cosmology, propose a more intricate and interconnected universe than previously imagined. One theory gaining some traction is eternal inflation, in which universes continuously emerge from a larger, expanding space. This speculation holds that our universe could be just one bubble among countless others, each with its own distinct properties. The challenge lies in finding observational evidence to support such theoretical ideas as they push the boundaries of empirical validation. Another provocative hypothesis is that our universe exists within a simulated reality, much like a computer-generated game. This idea draws parallels with advancements in artificial intelligence and computational science, where simulations can recreate complex systems with remarkable fidelity. If true, our perception of reality as a distinct physical universe could be fundamentally altered, raising profound philosophical and scientific questions about the nature of existence. As observational cosmology continues to uncover the universe's vastness and complexity, telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, with its remarkable sensitivity and resolution, promise to reveal even more secrets of the universe. Future observations may shed light on the earliest moments of the universe, offering insights into its ultimate fate and the fundamental principles that govern its evolution. Beyond observational cosmology, particle physicists are investigating the fundamental particles and forces that shape the universe. The quest to unify gravity with the other three fundamental forces, electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force, remains a central goal of theoretical physics. Ideas like quantum gravity and string theory offer potential frameworks for understanding these fundamental interactions at both the smallest and largest scales of the universe. In the realm of quantum mechanics, the concept of time itself remains a subject of intense debate. Time, as we experience it, flows from past to future, but quantum theories challenge this notion, suggesting that time may be emergent or even subtle at the fundamental level. Understanding the nature of time within the context of cosmological models could reshape our view of the universe's beginnings and evolution. Moreover, the search for extraterrestrial life continues to captivate public imagination and drive scientific inquiry. The discovery of exoplanets, planets orbiting stars beyond our solar system, has expanded our understanding of planetary diversity and the potential for habitable conditions elsewhere in the universe. Future missions, such as the James Webb Space Telescope's study of exoplanet atmospheres, may provide evidence of biosignatures indicative of life beyond Earth. In addition to these scientific efforts, social and philosophical reflections on the universe enhance our understanding of our place within it. Questions about the meaning of existence, the possibility of intelligent life elsewhere, and humanity's future in space exploration foster thought and conversation across disciplines. As we stand on the precipice of a new era in astronomy and cosmology, fueled by technological advancements and theoretical breakthroughs, we are reminded of the profound interconnectedness of everything, from the smallest subatomic particles to the vast, grandiose structures spanning billions of light years. The universe reveals its secrets to those willing to explore, and in all, the study of the universe and the origins of existence is a journey that transcends disciplinary boundaries and challenges our deepest assumptions about reality.
The discoveries made by instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope offer tantalizing glimpses into the early universe and provoke new questions about evolution and development. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of dark matter, dark energy, and cosmic expansion, we move ever closer to a broader understanding of the universe and our place within it. Through collaboration among cosmologists, physicists, philosophers, and technologists, we embark on a grand journey to decipher the universe, a mission that promises to reshape our understanding of existence itself. Whether exploring the depths of black holes, mapping the paths of distant galaxies, or probing the nature of reality, each discovery brings us closer to unraveling the intricate tapestry of the universe. As we venture further into the cosmos, guided by curiosity and driven by a desire to comprehend its vastness and complexity, we are reminded of Carl Sagan's words, somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. This sentiment embodies the essence of scientific inquiry, a never-ending journey of discovery, wonder, and illumination that continues to inspire generations of researchers and thinkers alike. In the words of Albert Einstein, the most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all true art and science. As we confront the secrets of the universe, we are invited to embrace uncertainty, challenge our assumptions, and seek new perspectives that expand our understanding of the universe and ourselves. Thus, the exploration of the universe is not just a scientific endeavor but a profound human quest for knowledge and meaning, an odyssey that transcends the limits of space and time, inviting us to consider our place in the grand cosmic tapestry of existence.